forces magnetism gravity normal forces and applied forces learning vocabulary here are a few words from this chapter with their meanings that you must remember applied forces applied force is the force that is applied on the objects by external means for example you pushing a box you are the external means that is applying the force on the box to push it attracts it means to exert a force on an object that is directed towards the source of the force it basically means to pull an object or an object coming towards the source of the force if you are pulling an object or a box the box is moving towards or being directed towards the source of the force that is you exert it means to apply a force force it is defined as the push or pull experienced by an object gravity gravity is not just the attraction between objects and the earth but it is an attraction that exists between all objects everywhere in the universe normal force the force that a surface employs on any other body if that body is at rest it means that the net force acting on the body is equal to zero question number 1 is gravity a pull or a push force give an example the gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects towards each other so it's a pull force earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what makes things fall according to einstein's theory of general relativity gravity is an effect of the curvature of space time it always pulls two objects towards each other what force can you see in the photograph of boys playing football the first force would be gravity that's because the ball and even the humans that the boys are staying on the ground so this force pulls the players and the ball towards the ground keeping them grounded normal force this is the force exerted by the ground that supports the players and the ball acting perpendicular to the surface friction this force acts between the players shoes and the ground allowing them to run stop and change direction it also affects the ball's movement on the field so if there was no friction then they would have slipped and fall applied force this is the force exerted by the players when they kick pass or head the ball it means the players are an external means that is applying the force on the ball that is the object air resistance drag this force acts against the motion of the ball as it travels through the air slowing it down whenever you push a ball the ball at after a certain point it comes to rest right that is because of air resistance which acts against the movement of the ball lift when the ball is kicked with a spin the magnetic effect creates a lift force causing the ball to curve in flight that means when you kick the ball and it goes high up in the sky it's called lift gravity and normal forces gravity works on both objects at rest and the objects that are moving gravity is the force that attracts or pulls an object towards the earth a normal force is a support force a normal force is made on an object that is in contact with another object the objects do not move for example if you put a book on a table the book is at rest that means the book is an object that is in contact with the table which is another object keeping it at rest when no force is applied
Using force diagrams mention how do we show forces on a force diagram. We show each force using the arrows. How do we show the direction of the force? The direction of the arrows represent the direction of the force. How do we show the size of the force, whether it's bigger or a smaller force? It's shown by the length of the arrow. Here is a force diagram of a person sitting on a chair. Which forces do the arrows represent? It's normal force and gravity. Normal force because the person which is an object is in contact with another object, that's the chair, and both are at rest. As you know, normal force is works in this condition and it's a support force. Gravity because the person and the chair are being pulled or attracted towards the ground. When you stand still, why don't you sink into the ground? Draw a force diagram to explain your answer and label the gravity and normal force. When we stand still, we don't sink into the ground because the surface below us, that is the ground itself, is strong enough to provide a normal reaction, a force equal and opposite to our weight. This is due to a Newton's third law, which states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That means that your weight when you are standing on the ground is being pushed downwards towards the ground and the ground is also pushing some amount of force equal to your weight upwards in the opposite direction. What are applied forces? An applied force is any force that is applied to a person or an object. For example, children kicking a ball is an applied force. Marcus pushing a table is also an applied force. Zara is closing a door. An object can be pushed or pulled by another object or person. Activity. Identify applied forces. For each picture A, B and C, identify the movement as a push or a pull or both of them. In A, the boy is pushing the ball, in B, the girl is pulling the string, and in C, the woman is both pulling as well as pushing the dough. How do we know that these are all applied forces? The force which is applied to an object by another object. So in all these examples, two objects are involved. The first one is a person and the second is any other object. Copy and complete these sentences about picture D. Zara pushes down on the bike's pedals. This is an applied force. This movement pulls the chain which is another applied force. This moves the bike's wheels.